Welcome back, everybody. We have another special presentation from Beaverworks Diecast Racing and the Igloo Proving Grounds, all the way up here, trying out the Igloo main track with some more real riders to real racers. Yes, this is another version of our customized real riders with the coated epoxy wheels so that they will actually go down fat track and through the corners. Vehicles. Hot Wheels 68 Dodge Charger. Number four to five from the Fast and Furious Fast Stars. This is a new model from 2021. Flat black paint job, red wheels, nice and heavy, should do great on the track. Hot Wheels 1960 to custom Chevy. Number eight from the 2020 Premium Boulevard series. This is a Rob Matthews design and has seen 31 versions since 2008. Nice and big and heavy. Hot Wheels 1961 Chevy Impala. Five out of five from the 2020 Fast and Furious Motor City Muscle Premium set. There has been 11 versions of this casting since 2012, so it's a good thing they already had one when the movie was made. Just had to paint it red. Hot Wheels 1983 Chevy Silverado. From the 2016 Hot Truck 5 Pack, there's a blast from the past. There's been 32 versions of this thing since it debuted in 2008, and we got the wheels off of some ugly truck that didn't deserve them. All right, here's our four vehicles for the night. We are going to do this in our regular best of three head-to-head -head and round them off until we get down to one. Race one. All right, here we are waiting for this part. We got Cindy Six Pack going up against Igor. Impala going up against the Charger. Nicely down the first straight. Charger's way out in front. Igor's killing it with that Charger. Looks like the Impala's having some problems not getting it through there. Got an 11.06 time over the line. Nice clean race. Everybody stayed on their wheels, kept it straight. Just got out raced in the Charger. Nice job there done by Igor. He's inside there. We're using in-track racers for the real riders just because these are kind of experimental vehicles. Cindy Six Pack up there on the shelf. Checking out the mid-camera down through there. Looks like our cameraman's drunk again. Couldn't get the full corner. That does happen. Down over the jump cam. 17 centimeters for that charger. Nice job, and Cindy Six Pack coming up there, 15 centimeters in the Impala. Got to remember, these cars are a lot heavier, so we're not going to get the same distances. Igloo replay. Charger is way out ahead. By the time they get down off the first stretch, they're going into that corner. Both looking nice and smooth through there, all that extra weight, and these are rubber tires, folks. Got to remember that. These are real riders, not quite getting the same speed, but look at the performance we're getting out of these guys. Coming down through both the corners, keeping her nice and straight, bouncing around, and that is Igor over the line. Nice job done by our first two racers on that. Igor in the 68 Dodge Charger, 11.06 and 17 centimeter jump. Race two. Customary lane switch here. We do decide lanes on the qualifying runs we do on the video prior to this. All right, here we go. Looks like we got Cindy Six Pack is in lane number two. Charger is in lane number one. He's getting up on the rail. He is still way out in front, just racing that Impala and has got it in the bag. 11.45 over the line and Cindy Six Pack finally makes it down here. All right, that did it for that race. There's the Impala, looks beauty. And there's the Charger. He gets the first round, Igor, in that 68 Fast and Furious flat black Dodge Charger. That thing looks excellent. Down through the mid cam there. And there's Cindy. Looks like she got a little hung up at the top of the final hill there. 10 centimeters on the jump cam for the Charger. Coming through Impala. There's 12 centimeters. Actually bought a couple more centimeters just because she kept it straight. Igloo replay. Checking it out. And again, that Charger is they're kind of even down there. Charger is still inching out and they're swapping paint through the crash racer's corner there. Coming down the mid stretch, they're 
getting up on the rail there, bouncing around, getting all silly and crazy, but still keeping it nice and straight. These real riders are handling this track nice with the little epoxy coated wheels we got going on there over top of the line. That gets it for Igor in the Charger. Nice 68 Charger, that is a beautiful casting. First time it's been done by Hot Wheels. There we got it, Dodge Charger gets it in two races. 10 centimeters, 11.45 on that one. The Hot Wheels 61 Impala is eliminated. All right, folks, here's your audience participation moment. Grab that like button and subscribe. Give us a comment, and some of you can even super thank us. Race three. All right, we got Kowalski inside of the 62 Custom Chevy pickup going up against the 68 Charger. Race number one, Charger's got the outside lane, and he's a... Whoa! Oh, man, what happened there? Looks like Igor got totally wiped out. I'm not sure what happened there. It might have been Kowalski scrubbing him off on the mid-track there. He is on his roof over there in the pebble path. We're going to have to get some crews up there, make sure that he is okay. There we got Kowalski down here on the bottom shelf looking pretty. There is the replay. He is tumbling over and over again. Ends up on his roof after he's bouncing off both sides of that pebble path down there almost making it down to the emergency vehicles let's check out the jump cam 18 centimeters for the custom 60 shot and there we have igor going through all wrong and there he is i think we can see him in the background there car is still up on his lid there's igor he's talking to the nurses all right he is notoriously hard to hurt that guy all right Igloo replay, let's see what happened there in slow-mo. They're coming down, main stretch. You can tell right there, start swapping paint and looks like Kowalski just shoves him right up off the road over the rail and that was it. He just couldn't get the transition over onto the pedal path and actually stop the car before he got into the emergency service down there. That is admirable for Igor there, taking it for the team. And there's Kowalski backing it over the line. Couldn't tell if he, uh, that was an on-purpose thing or not, but Rubin is racing, folks. 12.43 for the 62 Chevy. Race four. All right, race number two between these two. 62 Chevy going up against a 68 Charger. Chevy versus Dodge. Charger's got lead number two and is shoving the Chevy up into the rail already. Looks like Igor is all out for this one. He is going to pull the donut and no, he ends up on his roof on the line. Just like, oh, come on. Kowalski gives him a big smack at the end there. Looks like Igor was trying to get around for the finish line donut and underestimated the weight of these vehicles. He ended up on his roof and then got a kiss right on the finish line. That Charger is taking a beating this round. All right, let's check out the jump cam there. We got 18 centimeters in that Charger. That thing's actually flying pretty good. Didn't get Kowalski in the shot. That does happen. Igloo replay, slow motion, coming down the front stretch. Charger is getting out in front, you can see. Tries to scrub Kowalski off on the rail. That truck is pretty heavy. All of these vehicles are insanely heavy, but it was enough to slow him down. That means that Igor, way out in front, and he tries to do the little finish line show off donut there. And as he brings it back around, that was kind of a mistake because he ends up on his lid. He still gets over top of the finish line, but then here it comes, folks. Ready? Boom! Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Being upside down and then taking the full weight of that 62 Custom Chevy. That must have hurt. All right. There he still got the time, though. 12.23 and an 18 centimeter jump. Race 5. Bringing it to race number three between these two. One apiece already. This is Dodge up against the Chevy. And this time, it looks like they're both even and swapping paint for the Crash Racers corner. But by the time they get the 62, Chevy is out in front and he gets it 12, 17 and goes for the flatbed just a little off to the right hand side, misses out there. And uh, looks like Igor decided to stop and have a visit. Right there in the middle of the 3D bot maker corner. Looks like he just got a little silly and sideways and that was it. He stops right there. That gives it a way to 
Kowalski inside of the 62 custom Chevy, 16 centimeters on the jump there, 14 centimeters for the Charger coming through. All right, checking out the Igloo replay. Igor doing a great job holding on to that 62 Chevy all the way down through there, but the crash racer corner looks like Kowalski just choked him out, made a beautiful jump. They both made it over top of the jump good, but then it looks like Igor just got sideways and lost it on the 3D bot maker corner. Kowalski is through. 62 custom Chevy, truck and Great big leap on the, the bottom shelf there, going for the flatbed, just missed it. Excellent attempt. 12.17 time and a 16 centimeter jump. Igor inside of the 68 Dodge Charger is eliminated that time. All right, folks, check us out on social media. Beaverworks is all over it. We've got Facebook, we've got Instagram, and we have got TikTok now. Come on out and sign up for each and keep up to date. Race six. All right, here we go. D-Man is in the house now. That is the 83 Chevy Silverado. He was number one in qualifying the other night. That means he is the man to beat. Both of them are coming down neck and neck through the first stretch, coming down the midsection. D-Man is out in front in the 83 Silverado. Looks like Kowalski is up on his side already. He loses it through the 3D pop maker corner and just barely makes it to the bottom of the track there. That one wins all D-Man with an 11.06 time. Not bad there, he is sitting pretty on the top shelf there. Coming down through the midsection. You can see he is out in front already. They both handle that corner nice and then all of a sudden Kowalski is up on his side just giving her a little too much through that corner. 16 centimeters for the 83 Silverado and 15 centimeters for the 63 Custom Chev. All right, Igloo replay. Let's see how this one came together. They're coming down the main stretch. It almost looks like uh, 63 might have been out a little bit, but then they're still both door handle to door handle, neck and neck, swapping paint through there. It looks like, uh, looks like, uh, might have had a little bit of dirty work going on coming through the midsection, but they were both able to fight each other off. And then Kowalski on his side, just out of nowhere. That thing must be just a little top heavy because he got sideways and there's D-Man getting onto the bottom shelf. He takes that first race between the two pickup trucks here with an 11.64 time and a 16 centimeter jump. Race seven. All right, here we go, race number two against these two. This is the uh, battle of the half times, one old and one way older. All right, down to the crash racers corner, 62 is way out in front. Looks like it's gonna be Pulse Wade. He's on his side, Kowalski's on his side. D-Man, out of nowhere, making a shot for the flatbed and gets it at the line. Look at this, how close it was. Boom, he comes out of nowhere. Man, Kowalski thought he had it in the bag. And then he goes, and D-Man goes for the flatbed. There he is, Kowalski at the line, just barely over. He was on his side. Man, he lost it on that same spot on the... 3D bot maker corner coming through there. That was amazing. Oh man, 16 centimeters on the jump and uh, D-Man coming through there. 15 centimeters in the lighter Chevy 83 Silverado. Man, he came with through on that one just from being able to keep it stable coming through the bottom corner. Great stuff. That's 63. He is just sending it all the way through there. Kowalski giving her and then gave her a little bit too much through the 3D bot maker corner again and ends up on his side and he's just sliding on his side. He's looking at the finish line going, it's right there. But D-Man last second takes it, just snatches it right out of his teeth. That was great racing right there, folks. And that means D-Man is the winner. He gets that thing with an 11.64, 16 centimeter jump it. He is the overall going through on this one. The 62 Custom Chevy is eliminated. What an upset that was. There it is right there. 1982 Chevy Silverado is going to pull number one spot this week in our Real Riders number two race and we've got another one coming up after this so 
D-Man is going to have to defend his title in that Chevy. There's the other three custom rides that we built up there, all doing great job today. All right, here we go with a few shout outs this week. We've got Slam Man Customs. Thank you very much for letting us show off this start gate. Go over to Slam Man Customs and check out all the stuff they've got. Another couple of quickies. We got Chaos Canyon, Diecast Racing News, and the Canyon Outlaws. Beaver Works is still involved down over there. And Redline Derby Racing. Make sure you get over there and check out their stuff. Lots of race info you need to know for the Diecast world. All right. And most of all, folks, again, thank you very much for watching our stuff from Beaver Works Diecast Racing. We will see you next time.